Hi, Vadim here. In this quick and practical tutorial, you'll learn how to solve this common everyday problem step by step. Most professionals eventually face the challenge of troubleshooting a misbehaving Windows machine. And one of the safest ways to do it is through the safe mode. So what is the safe mode and why it matters? Safe mode starts your computer with only the essential drivers and services. It's a clean workspace. No third-party apps, no background updates, just the core system. Which means, if you are dealing with the glitchy startup or a program conflict before a big client call, Safe Mode can help you fix things fast and stress-free. There are multiple ways to get your Windows machine into the Safe Mode. Let's start with the cleanest way, when your Windows is still working fine. The easiest way to do it is navigate to Settings. Here in Settings, you need to search for Advanced Startup Options. And in Advanced Startup, click Restart Now. This puts you into the blue menu and you need to choose Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then Restart. And once it reboots, make sure to press 4 for Safe Mode, or 5 for Safe Mode with Networking. Are you short on time? Here's the keyboard trick. Hold the Shift key, and then click Restart from the Start Menu's power icon. This way, you will jump straight into the same Advanced Startup menu, and follow the same path, Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then Restart. And make sure to choose the Safe Mode from the list. If Windows keeps crashing or doesn't boot, don't worry. If you force shut down your PC three times in a row during startup, on the third try it will enter automatic repair mode. And from there select Advanced Options, Troubleshoot, Startup Settings and then Restart. And you'll be able to choose Safe Mode just like in the previous two methods. Once you're in the Safe Mode, you will see a plain desktop with the Safe Mode in all corners. You can now uninstall apps, update drivers or scan for malware. And if you need the Internet, Make sure to choose Safe Mode with Networking. And if you need to exit the Safe Mode, just make sure to restart your computer. Windows will boot back into Normal Mode automatically. No extra steps needed. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Online Training for Everyone. Have a great day!